What's going on, y'all? You know who it is. Mr. Warmack, a.k.a. Low Rent, a.k.a. The Ignorant American, a.k.a. The Truth As You Know It, a.k.a. Dirty Business, a.k.a. The Jet Jaguar of YouTube. All right, folks, I'm back and I'm here to discuss... Uh, I haven't been on, my, on any of, any type of political or economic speech in a minute, so I decided to get back on uh, Trump's cuts, and I wanted to talk about along with these cuts. I wanted to talk about this this piece of uh, company right here. Here we go. I want to talk about the IMF, and the IMF stands for an inter, inter -monetary, well, international monetary fund. And what it is is it's like basically it's like the world it's the World Bank, basically it's uh it's like it's like the Fed to the United States is like that's that's just what the IMF is to the everybody. It does the same thing basically as the Fed does the Federal Reserve, Fed Federal Reserve, and uh the deal was people try to say well how's that relate to the U.S. economy the U.S. and like I had a person tell me the U.S. economy is mostly credit. Well, let me explain something to people that, that like may not understand this. First of all, the 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 recession, and here's what people don't understand. First, I'm, I'm gonna put it like this. First of all, the economy is not just America anymore. It's a worldwide economy, and what ha happens somewhere else has a ripple effect on us. Let me get, let me give you an example. The recession, the, the Great Recession. Did not take did not start here where the sub the subprime lending and all that didn't take place here. It started didn't start here. It started over in Europe, and it had a ripple effect to us. Now that being said, the U.S. the IMF my fault I was going to say the U.S. Monetary Fund uh, the IMF wanted our economy under Obama. So like I said, I don't blame Obama for this. I, like I said, I, I knew where this was coming from. The Obama, the IMF wanted our, Obama to keep our um, corporate tax rate where it is, where it was before Trump cut it. And the reasoning behind this was he wanted, to, the IMF wanted to, uh, they wanted to have Europe, which is their economies, most of them suck. That's why, like the Brexit, and that's why you know that's why the the, the Brits are out 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 of the EU. Most of the economies suck in Britain. I mean, in in, in Europe, and they wanted the European economies to keep pace with the American economy, which was exploding. So by doing that, they wanted us to ratchet our economy down, and that's where we get all these, you know, these percentage taxes and all the slowdown we were having. Now, Trump came in, and he said he's going to do this, do that, X, Y, Z, this, and the fifth. Well, the problem with that is the IMF did not want Trump to do any of this, and st and, and still doesn't. So what did they what did they do? The IMF they cut the U.S. growth forecast, and their reasoning behind this was they said Trump had unfulfilled promises. You know, with the economy. But this is before the the, econ the tax reform came. Don't forget, folks. This was just some sign within the last week. The U.S. the the, the IMF. Had our economy grown at a fast pace, but as of as of like October, they said that our economy uh, we have an outlook of growing at a two percent, two point one percent clip in both 2017 and 2018. Now, mind you, this is before the tax cut, and they're they're saying because Trump was wasn't keeping a lot of his promises that he said during the election, but now. Fast forward to now, Trump. Uh, they got they got the Congress passes his tax cut, and the corporate rate went from twenty one percent to fifteen percent. I want to say, yeah, he cut the corporate tax rate. Now this is the exact opposite of what the IMF wanted. They wanted us to stay at fifteen. I mean, at twenty one percent. Like I said, so the euros can catch up to our economy and keep pace with it. But Donald and Congress were like, "Look, man, they're putting it to, they're, he's putting it in a, an American first as the slogan and as uh, as how he's running the show in Washington." Now, here's the problem a lot of people have: 
Trump is a no-win situation. Here's why: the GOP, Kyle's GOP, doesn't you know, isn't a fan of his, and neither Democrats. So Trump can run as president. Different times during the first year, and I, I noticed this, where Trump ran it as a straight Republican, and they didn't like it. Then there are times he ran it as a Democrat, he didn't like it. But where Trump excels at is he's not he doesn't he's, he's not great. He's actually terrible at the political game. Because he tells it like it is, and I respect that. But where Trump excels at is the business aspect of Washington. Like you can, you can't tell him or tell me that some of the stuff that he's doing is not saving any money. Now everybody's having a bitch fit about how Medicaid's getting cut this and a third. Well, there's always Obamacare, and I know people say, "Well, we have to tighten our belts." Who has never tightened their belt in America? Even people who found a successful business had to tighten their belt in the beginning to start somewhere. Now, back to this IMF thing. Now that we we didn't cut it, now that we cut the tax rate, there's been companies out there that gave bonuses. Like AT&T gave $1,000 to their employees when they, after this was signed, like right after this was signed. So this is planned. Because you know why? When you cut the tax rate, you just freed up a bunch of their money. And some companies are mad because they were planning on closing places and moving somewhere else. Maybe other, uh, maybe their tax thing run, what came up. But now they're flush with cash and they can't use it as a reasoning. So now they're going to let the let, let the place go by the wayside. They're going to do it by, let it go by itself, let it eat itself up. But like I said, the IMF gave us a bad forecast. So Donald was like, you know, hey, look, all right, because he, like I said, he really doesn't pay, he really doesn't pay too much attention to the IMF or any of these agencies. Like the only one we really need to focus on, you know, that 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 you and I need to focus. I mean, I know the IMF has a bigger hold than what we know, but like the Fed, like the Fed has a major role in our our lives more than the IMF. The IMF is for the world, and like I said, if we're if we're going by this policy of America first. We, we're going to less and less rely on what the IMF says, and we rely more and more on what the Fed and what our government thinks. So back to lecture at hand. Trump did all this, and now the people are complaining. They're saying, well, you broke their forecast, and now you're going to up-tip the apple cart, and now you're going to do this and do that, and now your economies are going to outpace Europe and well, they'll never get a hold. I'm like, I ain't complaining. Because you know why? That puts Americans to work. So, I want to. I wanted to talk about this because a lot of people don't really understand. Like, you mentioned IMF. You're like, what's that, a rap group? You know, what's that, a country group? You know, but these, these are the people, like I said, now this is the more and more, this is the world economy, and there are ripple effects. But you need to understand this because, like, a lot of people, especially a lot of, like, Poor people don't understand, you know, that's why you're still poor. If you pay attention and work hard, you know, maybe you don't, I don't know. At the end of the proverbial day, this can only help you. It's not going to hurt you. So, it does, and then a lot of the things that I talk about are easily looked up. Like, a lot of people will say, well, you can't believe everything you read on the internet. How can you believe everything you read in books? What, because it's, cause it's in a book? I mean, come on. I mean, the greatest trick the devil played was the one that proved that he never existed. And a lot of you guys are devils. So just stay up on this and do for self. All right. Peace.